Europe has witnessed a multitude of mega constructions over the years, ventures that have not only reshaped the continent's infrastructure and economy, but have also become headline makers, capturing the public's fascination. With their multi-billion dollar price tags, these colossal endeavors have etched their mark on communities and the entire continent. This video will uncover Europe's top 10 biggest mega projects, highlighting their enormity, intricacy, and pivotal role in molding the continent's scenery. So let's embark on a journey through Europe's most audacious and colossal construction projects, bearing witness to the extraordinary engineering feats and the transformative influence they've had on the continent. Number 10. The Stad Ship Tunnel Situated in Norway, the Stad Ship Tunnel forms a crucial segment of an extensive infrastructure initiative dedicated to enhancing regional transportation. This tunnel, poised to claim the title of the world's longest maritime traffic tunnel, is specifically crafted to tackle the formidable conditions of the Stadhavet Sea, renowned for its chaotic winds and unpredictable weather patterns. Spanning a substantial 1,800 kilometers in length, standing at 47 meters in height and boasting a width of 36 meters, this engineering marvel is tailored to accommodate 81% of contemporary ship traffic, encompassing vessels like the Hurtigruten and Havila coastal cruise ferries. The main objective driving this endeavor is to heighten safety for ships navigating the difficult waters along the Norwegian coast. With an estimated cost of $325 million, this venture marks a substantial stride toward establishing the Norwegian coast as the epitome of safety and environmental responsibility on a global scale. Number 9. Frankfurt International Airport the Frankfurt International Airport expansion, a $5.7 billion initiative launched in 2005, reshapes Germany's largest airport. Key components include a fourth runway and Terminal 3, designed to elevate capacity to 100 million passengers yearly. The project involves doubling retail space in Terminals 1 and 2 and introducing high-speed rail services. The first phase featured Pier A+, an 800-meter extension of Terminal 1, completed in October 2012. This added 6 million passenger capacity and new parking positions for wide-body aircraft. Terminal 3, a major part of the expansion, is a privately financed 4 billion euro investment set to handle 25 million passengers annually upon completion. With innovative design and significant capacity increase, the Frankfurt International Airport Expansion Project is a landmark achievement in the evolution of European aviation infrastructure. Number 8. Norway's E39 Coastal Highway Norway's E39 Coastal Highway Project is a sweeping initiative designated to enhance transportation infrastructure and foster connectivity among coastal communities in Norway. Stretching over approximately 1,100 kilometers, the project traverses six counties and 50 municipalities. The journey along this route currently takes about 21 hours, involving seven ferry connections. The overarching objective is to revamp the E39 road, eliminating the need for ferries and slashing the travel time to approximately 11 hours, thereby shortening the route by around 50 kilometers. This monumental undertaking comprises seven sub-projects orchestrated by the Norwegian Public Roads Administration to bring the comprehensive vision to fruition. Planned enhancements encompass the creation of the Rogfast subsea tunnel and constructing a new five-kilometer bridge spanning the Bjarnefjord. Positioned within the European road network, the E39 Coastal Highway project is set to unfold in phases over the coming decades with the ultimate aim of establishing a seamless highway along the western coast of Norway. Number 7. Crossrail Railway Project The Crossrail Railway Project, also recognized as the Elizabeth Line, stands as Europe's grandest and most lavish construction endeavor, boasting an estimated cost of 18.8 billion euros. This ambitious initiative strives to forge a rail network spanning over 100 kilometers, weaving through 40 stations from Heathrow and Reading in the west to Abbey Wood and Shenfield in the east. The intricate web includes a stretch of 42 kilometers of innovative tunnels snaking beneath central London. A significant milestone was reached on May 24, 2022, as the railway opened its central segment linking Paddington and Abbey Wood. Anticipated to inject a robust $40 billion into the UK's economy, the Crossrail project is poised to accommodate a staggering 200 million passengers annually, resulting in a 10% upswing in central London's rail capacity. Furthermore, it will extend access to central London within a 45-minute radius to an additional 1.5 million people. Although initially slated for a 2018 inauguration, the Crossrail project faced repeated delays, including setbacks induced by the COVID-19 pandemic. Nevertheless, its unfolding promises not only to redefine the landscape of London's transportation, but also to be a catalyst for economic growth, embodying a testament to resilience and innovation in the face of challenges. 
Number 6. High Speed 2 High Speed 2 HS2 is a transformative project aiming to create a high-speed railway network connecting major cities in Great Britain, including London, Birmingham, the West Midlands, Coventry, Hereford, Lichtfield, Stoke-on-Trent, Wolverhampton, and Worcester. With an estimated cost of £56 billion, the project addresses transportation challenges and stimulates economic vitality. It is currently in the construction phase. Designed to alleviate travel times and enhance connectivity, HS2 aims to generate 22,000 construction jobs over the next five years, presenting a significant economic growth opportunity with an annual investment ranging from 1 billion to 2 billion pounds. The project prioritizes environmental consciousness with high-speed trains delivering zero-carbon journeys. Adhering to continental European standards, HS2 encompasses 140 miles of track, four stations, two depots, 32 miles of tunnels, and the construction of 130 bridges. HS2 aspires not only to reshape British transportation, but also to catalyze job creation, economic prosperity, and sustainable travel between key urban centers. Number 5. Istanbul Canal the Istanbul Canal, a monumental $15 billion initiative, aims to construct a 45-kilometer artificial waterway connecting the Black Sea, Sea of Marmara, Aegean, and Mediterranean seas. Ranging from 400 to 1,000 meters in width and reaching depths of 25 meters, the canal is designed to facilitate the passage of 160 ships daily, transforming the European side of Istanbul into an island. This ambitious project positions Istanbul as a key international maritime hub in the Black Sea. Initiated in 2011, the canal has faced opposition due to ecological concerns and potential impacts on Istanbul. Despite reservations, the Turkish government remains committed, emphasizing the anticipated economic advantages including increased international ship traffic and the potential for commercial and tourism development along the canal's shores. The Istanbul Canal project exemplifies the delicate balance between economic development and environmental consideration in contemporary infrastructure projects. Number 4. Grand Paris Express The Grand Paris Express is Paris's most extensive ongoing transportation initiative, led by Société de Grand Paris SGP, aiming to revolutionize public transit and enhance metropolitan connectivity. Commencing construction in June 2015, the project targets a daily ridership of 3 million residents, estimated to be completed in 2030 and cost 36.1 billion euros. Funding involves a 30% contribution from the French government and 70% from local authorities through taxes, subsidies, and loans. At its core, the project expands Line 14 and introduces four new automatic lines, adding 68 stations and 200 kilometers of railway lines, 90% of which will be underground. These stations are designed for functionality and as architectural marvels featuring amenities, retail spaces, and dedicated parking for pedestrians, bicycles, and cars. Beyond infrastructure, the Grand Paris Express aims to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 14.2 million tons by 2050, serving over 2 million passengers daily upon completion. The project seamlessly links major Paris airports to the metro system, fostering enhanced connectivity among suburbs. It emerges as a comprehensive transportation network and a transformative force for urban mobility and sustainable commuting in the French capital. Number 3. Energy Islands The Energy Islands project in Denmark is a groundbreaking initiative involving creating two expansive offshore wind farm projects in the North Sea and the Baltic Sea. This visionary endeavor aligns with Denmark's commitment to achieving climate neutrality by 2050 and spearheading the shift away from fossil fuel energy sources within Denmark and across Europe. Initially, the farm will provide 3 to 4 billion watts of energy, with potential long-term expansion to 10 billion watts. The wind turbines surrounding these islands are poised to generate green electricity, with a capacity sufficient to power a minimum of 5 million households. The Danish government's vision to convert low-carbon electricity from these islands into green hydrogen is a pivotal aspect of the Energy Islands project. This hydrogen can then undergo further processing into fuels, offering a sustainable energy source in line with the objectives of the Paris Agreement. With an estimated cost of 28 billion euros, this initiative is the largest construction project in Denmark's history, underscoring the nation's commitment to spearheading green energy solutions and advancing the global transition towards a more sustainable future. Number 2. Femarn Belt Fixed Link the Femarn Belt Fixed Link is a significant infrastructure venture to forge a connection between Denmark and Germany through an 18-kilometer-long immersed tube tunnel. Designed to accommodate a four-lane motorway and a two-track railway, 
the tunnel is poised to drastically reduce travel time between the two countries to a mere 7 minutes by train and 10 minutes by car. The inception of the Femarn Belt fixed link dates back to 1992, and the commencement of construction officially began on January 1, 2021. The projected timeline for completion is eight and a half years, with an estimated cost totaling 7.4 billion euros. Upon its conclusion in 2029, the tunnel will claim the title of the world's longest immersed tunnel, boasting both rail and road facilities. Designed by Arup in collaboration with Rambol and TEC, this project is Europe's most extensive civil engineering endeavor, promising to bring Europe closer geographically once fully realized. Number 1. Trans-European Transport Network The Trans-European Transport Network, 10T, is a comprehensive initiative within the European Union EU, to create a cohesive and efficient transport infrastructure across the entire EU. This network integrates various transportation modes including railways, roads, inland waterways, short sea shipping routes, and airports. The network is structured into two layers, the core network, focusing on crucial connections between major cities and nodes, slated for completion by 2030, and the comprehensive network covering all existing and planned transport infrastructure with target completion by 2050. The financial investment required to realize the Trans-European Transport Network is substantial, exceeding 600 billion euros. This ambitious undertaking reflects the EU's commitment to fostering seamless connectivity, promoting economic growth, and ensuring sustainable development through a highly integrated and efficient transport infrastructure across the continent.